So Don, before we get to the tough stuff, tell me what you are most thankful for this Thanksgiving. For having a great family and for having uh, made a tremendous difference in this country. I've made a tremendous difference in the country. I'm not sure everybody would agree with that statement, so let's move on to Ivanka's email situation. Ivanka sent hundreds of emails to White House aides, her assistants, and cabinet officials using her personal email account. Tell us why it's different from what Hillary did. You're talking about all fake news. So what Ivanka did, it's all in the presidential records. Everything is there. There was no deletion. There was no nothing. What it is is a false story. Hillary Clinton deleted 33,000 emails. She had a server in the basement. That's the real story. You'll pardon me, Don, if I say I don't see any difference. Ivanka has a lot of foreign policy in her portfolio. I find it hard to believe that her personal email account doesn't contain sensitive and probably classified data, and so her actions would expose the U.S. to the bad actors of our adversaries. No. It's all fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Uh, they weren't classified. They weren't deleted. It's all fake news. Okay. Okay. So you don't want to believe it's the same as Hillary. I get that. So let's talk about the Saudis, the Prince, and the Khashoggi murder. I hate the crime. I hate what's done. I hate the cover-up. Uh, and I will tell you this, the Crown Prince hates it more than I do. And they have vehemently denied it. The CIA points it both ways. It's, you know, it's, and I, as I said, maybe he did, maybe he didn't. But I will say very strongly that it's a very important ally. And if we go by a certain standard, we won't be able to have allies with almost any country. Well I hope we'll talk again, even though I don't agree with you, thank you Donald.